With rising home prices, more and more people are asking about mobile home as an affordable housing alternative. In fact, I'm currently helping a few of my own clients with their mobile home purchases. Can mobile homes be an option for you too? In this video, I will share information about mobile home ownership here in Southern California. Hello, I'm Becky Park, a real estate broker with 18 years of experience. I share insights and resources on everything related to real estate to help you make informed decisions. Mobile homes or manufactured homes are HUD-approved living spaces built in a factory and then placed on a location. They can be single, double, or triple wide, ranging from 400 square feet to over 2,000 square feet. They can be bought and sold just like site-built homes, but cost considerably less, making them very attractive to low-income households and retirees on fixed income. These homes can also be remodeled or repaired. I've seen mobile homes built in the 70s being totally refurbished with modern upgrades. When doing an extensive remodel though, be sure you get the necessary approvals and permits. For safety reasons, mobile homes are subject to periodic on-site inspections by the appropriate governing entities. In California, Department of Housing and Community Development handles the titling and registration of mobile homes. There's a small metal plate with decal number attached to the outside of each coach. Older mobile home with the blue HCD decal beginning with the letter A are under DMV Annual Registration Renewal. Mobile homes that were manufactured after July 1st of 1980 or have a red HCD decal beginning with the letter L pay local property taxes assessed by the county tax assessor using a NADA guide, a price guidebook for mobile homes similar to a Kelly Blue Book for cars. Mobile homes can be financed. New ones placed on the land owned by the mobile home purchaser can be financed with a variety of loans such as the FHA, VA, HUD, and other conventional options. Financing a resale mobile home, those on lease land, or those that have been moved may be more challenging. Most lenders view mobile homes as personal properties and may offer shorter loan term with higher interest rates than traditional mortgages. Within the cities of Southern California, most mobile homes are situated in mobile home parks. You find rows of mobile homes with separated spaces for each resident to enjoy. These communities may offer certain amenities such as an on-site manager, a maintenance crew, clubhouse, playground, swimming pool, laundry facility, tennis court, and so on. Some parks are designated as senior parks and have age restrictions. In these parks, at least one resident must be 55 years of age or older. Some may require other occupants to be at least 45 years of age, while more lenient ones would allow anyone over 18 to live in the park. Due to these restrictions, senior parks tend to be quieter than family parks and are usually preferred by older homeowners. A vast majority of these mobile home parks are owned by someone else and the residents rent the space their mobile home are situated on. Every month, they pay a space rent to the park owner and like with any rentals, there are rent increases from time to time. Parks that are under rent control have smaller park rent increases while those that are not may see larger increases. Also, it is a common practice for the park management to ask for higher space rent each time the mobile homes are sold. Some park owners may pass along capital improvement costs to mobile home residents as well. These are costs associated with improving the park amenities like replastering the swimming pool, updating the clubhouse, or resurfacing the streets. Some parks include all or some utilities with the space rent. Others may bill for utilities additionally. To purchase a mobile home in these parks, the buyer must be approved by the park management and are usually required to show proof of income for at least three times the cost of housing. The housing cost consists of any loan payment on the mobile home, 
plus space rent and utilities. As renters of spaces in these parks, mobile home residents do not have control as to the continuity of the park. If the park owner finds more profitable use for the land, they may close the park to pursue that option. Currently, there is a park going through the closing process in my area. This park has been operating since the 70s, but when it was recently sold to a developer, the new owner is seeking to close the park to build multi-unit mixed-use complex. After many months of negotiations between the residents, the new park owner, and the city, various relocation options were offered to the residents. Even though the park owner is providing adequate compensation, it is never pleasant to be forced to move from your home. When you lease a space in a mobile home park, there's always the risk of park closure. There are a handful of parks where the residents collectively own the land. In these parks, the buyer not only purchases the mobile home unit, but also a partial ownership into the park itself. As park owners, each resident has a voice as to any possible changes to the land use. Mobile homes in these parks tend to be much more expensive, but there is no space rent. Each resident pays only a small HOA due to cover park maintenance and taxes. Mobile homes are considered personal property similar to a car and for the most part depreciates in value over time. But here in Southern California, as with any other properties, mobile homes can appreciate in value if there's a high demand. Location tends to be the main factor that affects value. If a mobile home is in a well-kept park with lower space rent or has a magnificent view, then it can be sold for more than the purchase price. Believe it or not, there are triple wide mobile homes with beautiful ocean views that have sold for almost a million dollars in our area. Pros of mobile home ownership are, you get a house with a yard space for a fraction of the cost. You can enjoy many amenities a park has to offer. Depending on location, you may possibly see some price appreciation. There are, however, cons to owning a mobile home. The park management may have a stringent park approval process for buyers and strict regulations for residents. Space rents often increase, and there is always the risk of park closure and the need for relocation. So do you think a mobile home is a viable housing option for you? Share your thoughts by leaving comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll return with more real estate videos next time.